Some very sad news dropped yesterday on the horror community on Facebook. Then he exposed the very sad message uh, yesterday and the horror community is shocked. He stated and I quote, to all of the people that I never got to meet and the 6,018 diehard fans that enjoyed my work, I have some bad news. I've been diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. I have approximately 1 to 3 years to live, but I gotta tell ya, I sure as hell packed a whole bunch of living into my 68 years. I got no change coming back, that's for sure. And not too many regrets. Okay, gotta go. I'm gonna find out just what in the hell's going on down in that fruit cellar. Take a stroll on over to Full Empire Promotions and see what my friend Dominic has in the store. So you can donate something by purchasing an autograph online and you can already just tell that Danny Hicks really does care about his fans. He doesn't instantly talk about his own life. He instantly just talks about like his fans, you know, uh, which I think is a really great message and just really shows what good of a person he is. I actually got in touch with him myself. Uh, as you guys probably know, I've been doing lots of interviews and I was going to interview him and he had the nicest reply of all celebrities that I have uh, gotten in touch with. Usually it's a very short uh, reply like sure or yeah, let's do it. So this was during April and basically I just asked him if he was interested in doing an interview with me and he said, hello Roger, I'm having some health issues at the moment, but I would be interested in doing an interview with you. If it's possible for you to check back with me in say a week or so, that would be great and thanks for being interested. He was just thankful for me for asking him for the interview. Like I should be thankful for him replying, you know, or at least usually that's the case. Uh, he was actually just thankful to me that I enjoy his work and am interested to have him as a guest on the show, which I just think is really great. Fast forward one week later, I sent him another message. Um, and at the time he posted a photo on Facebook saying, so fast forward two weeks later, I sent him another message and um, unfortunately he did not reply to that. So I already assumed the worst and the message I sent to him was very lively like, I saw your post about taking a little break so totally understandable if you want me to send another message later or want me to send him another message like in months or just don't want to do it anymore. Um, that's okay, you know, that's very understandable. And what he said was, Hello Roger, I'm sorry but I'm going to have to put this on hold for a bit longer. I don't know what to tell you except try again in two weeks. I hope that's not too much to ask. So instantly he was just so, he really apologized and he really cared about me as a fan as he does about you as a fan. So fast forward two weeks later I sent him another message and um, unfortunately he did not reply to that. So I was like, okay, that, it's his health is probably bad. and. Fast forward a few weeks later, and now we got this message, which just hits really hard on me. Danny X has been a very big part of my horror journey. Uh, I grew up watching the Spider-Man trilogy by Sam Raimi, and um, I always remember the Spider-Man 2 sequence with the train, you know. And he's actually in the back of the train, if you didn't know that. Uh, so that's really cool. Spider-Man 2 got me into, like, movies, you know. And then... Darkman got me into darker movies, you know, so I watched Darkman, loved it, and then I really got into horror with Evil Dead, and Evil Dead 2, of course, uh, which Danny Hicks is also part of, so he has been like a very important part in my horror journey, he plays in all of my favorite horror movies and stuff, he has a little cameo in Maniac Cop, which is one of my favorite movies of all time, and of course, he is the killer in my all-time favorite film, Intruder. So yeah, Danny, if you're watching this, I um, hope you stay strong, brother. And um, if anyone wants to donate something, I'll put the link in the description. Go get yourself an autograph or something. And um, you'll help him out tremendously. Um, that's all for now. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.